Now you want to pressure without fouling. Collins has 10 points. Offensive foul. Adam Cook has come up big. This freshman redshirt. Well, actually, that, I think that was Jake Cook. Number 20, that is Jake Cook. He just stands there and waits for Collins, who runs right over him. Fifth turnover for Collins. Collins has really had a struggle today. He's yet to make a three-point basket, and his penetration, his skill at penetration, has really been limited today by this helping Northern Iowa defense. Taylor is in, and Marcus Morris is checked out for KU. Now Kansas still has plenty of time. They don't need to panic. See, Northern Iowa is not really going to attack against the pressure, so they can really go all out when the ball is in the backcourt or this close to half court without worrying about whether Northern Iowa is going to go to the basket. Now, however, the Panthers are going to try. There's 10 seconds left in the shot clock. Our Keith Morris watching a helicopter. Three. That's Adam Cook. He's got eight. Northern Iowa by seven. Taylor doubled and fouled. Again, the Cook brothers were right there. And that will go on the freshman Adam Cook. Well, you know, Kansas is doing what it wants to do. It's forcing Northern Iowa into long outside shots. But the last time down the court, it was Jake Cook. This time, Adam Cook getting offensive rebounds and scoring points. Tyshawn Taylor has nothing today to show for his work. 0-5 from the floor. Taylor is 0-4 from three and hits his first right there. Marcus Morris comes back out for his twin, Markeith. Kansas only 5 of 20 shooting threes today. One timeout for Northern Iowa and two timeouts for Kansas. Big one's right there. Morningstar is in for Tyrell Reed. And remember, Northern Iowa's had a problem in this half getting the ball in bounds. Moran, they got one timeout. Off of Northern Iowa. And that's actually a really good play by Xavier Henry because I do not think anybody touched that ball. So it's going to be out of bounds yep. down underneath the Kansas basket. Henry just gets in his way. Good point. You can see him pull back his hands. Well, now in soccer, that would be a violation because he wasn't within playing distance of the ball. But there's no such thing in basketball. How about Northern Iowa? They go most of the game almost flawless in terms of turnovers. But they've had three turnovers in the last two and a half minutes of this one. Well, the pressure in the last two and a half minutes has been really intense. Collins, 4-14. Taylor is 0-5. Marcus Morris, a lot of congestion inside the lane. And Adam Cook has picked up his third personal foul for the Panthers. I actually think they called him on Jake Cook. Uh, Jake yeah. Cook, you're right. Although... No, nope, it was Jake Cook, yep. Well, they're not giving him anything on the inside. Again, that's not a bad foul by Jake Cook, but Kansas attacking, forcing the help defense to come. Marcus Morris at the line. Today, three of five. 12 points right there, four rebounds. And 53.8. Northern Iowa's got to block out. They've had a tough time with that on occasion here in the second half. And they've got to get the ball inbounds. They've really struggled to do that here in the last couple of minutes. Morning star setting a check in for KU. Now Morning star is in there for defensive purposes. He's their best yep. perimeter defender. So they've got three really strong perimeter defenders in there. Jake Cook to inbound, stepped, and on stepped out of bounds. What defense by Marcus Morris. Uh, Helligba running out of room. Another turnover. Well, he's just trying to beat Morris, and Morris does a nice job. Yep. Clearly steps on the line. Morris, that's a situation where if Morris tries to take the charge, he probably picks up a foul. Good discipline by Marcus Morris on the defensive end. Reed is back in. Here's Collins, a hell of double defend. Yeah. 
This is the closest it has been since 3 to 2. Timeout Kansas. They've got one left and Northern Iowa has one timeout remaining. A 6 nothing run by KU. And as they've done so many times this season, Sharon Collins answers. Kansas is going to get the ball back. Northern Iowa is going to have to shoot it before the clock shot clock runs out. Oh, oh my. Farouk Banesh, a three. Good! You can't be serious with that shot. Collins the other way. Tyrell Reed. Offensive foul. Farouk Banesh has just buried his fourth three-point shot today. Reed picks up his fourth personal foul. Now they run down the court. Farouk Banesh takes a look, and even with there's 36 seconds left in the game, and he figures, I'm open. That is a huge shot. Ahalibut calls the final timeout for Northern Iowa. 23.4. <laughs> shot clock is off. The nine seed on top of the one seed. Reed and Taylor, Marcus Morris, Xavier Henry and Collins out there for KU. A Heligba foul by Collins. A Heligba 73% free throw shooter. Collins picks up his third. And each team over the 10 foul limit, so there'll be two shots by a Heligba. Again, as we said, the last Missouri Valley Conference tournament champion to reach the Sweet 16 was Larry Bird in Indiana State back in 1979. The Sycamores went on to the Final Four in the championship game. We've had many Missouri Valley Conference teams make it over the last handful of years as that conference continues to grow and gain respect. A hell of a it's still a two-possession game, but now if you're Kansas, you don't need to settle for the three. You've got to score and score quickly. Tyshawn Taylor. Sharon Collins for three. Marcus Morris, Tyshawn Taylor. Reed, six seconds left. Timeout, Kansas. Three-point game, 6.2. Now, Northern Iowa, number one, they have to get it in bounds, and he can run along the baseline. Number two, they have to handle it without turning it over, and then they're going to have to make some free throws. No timeouts either way. Farouk Manesh gets it on the inbound by Jake Cook. And an 86% free throw shooter who has made two of the biggest shots in Northern Iowa basketball history is now going to the line to see if he can make at least one more. His first trip this afternoon tonight to the free throw line for Ali Farouk Manesh. Isn't this something? Taylor, Marcus Morris. Point four. They do. On the first day of spring, number one has fallen. 